we have got a two electrodes one is copper and other is silver the electrode potential of copper is plus 0.34 that of silver is plus 0.8 suppose you set up a cell using these two electrodes which would be the electrode half, uh, reduction half and which would be the oxidation half from the electrode potential values you have to decide how you represent a cell and how you set up a cell now you can see the reduction potential of copper is less than that of silver the one which has got less reduction potential should get oxidized which means a copper should be the oxidation half in a cell you set up between these two silver should be your reduction half because silver has got more reduction potential so obviously silver should get reduced same way you can find out how a cell can be set up between different couples suppose you set up a cell between silver and copper uh, silver and zinc see which part will act as an oxidation half which part will act as a reduction half and how would you represent a cell so suppose you put a piece of zinc in copper sulfate you know there is going to be a reaction because zinc has got a more oxidation potential than copper zinc being a solid will react with the solution of copper sulfate you know the reaction already zinc plus cuso4 gives zinc sulfate plus copper what it means is suppose you have a container made up of zinc and you store copper sulfate into this there will be a reaction between zinc container and copper sulfate zinc being a metal solid it will react with the copper sulfate so you cannot store zinc in copper sulfate because there is a reaction same way suppose you store silver nitrate in zinc container find out whether this is possible find out whether we can store zinc in silver i'm sorry we can store silver nitrate solution in zinc container or not you will find out this from the reduction potential values uh the reverse also you can try if you put a zinc sulfate solution in silver container will it be possible or not hope you understood about the concepts of electrochemical series working of an electrochemical cell the concept of anode and cathode and how you represent a cell you can try some more questions from the reduction potential values and the working of electrochemical cell how to represent a cell using different metals and practice the questions based on reduction potential values thank you so much for attending the class in the next class we will continue from here we will see the more concepts which are involved in electrochemistry thank you so much